Joining me now on a Fox Business exclusive to answer that question and many more, IonQ CEO Niccolo DeMasi. Niccolo, it feels like this board announcement is maybe the start of a whole new arm of business space and applying quantum mechanics and quantum computing to what possibilities in space. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and good to see you. Always a pleasure to be on. Uh, we've been moving in this direction of a global quantum internet for some time now. Um, if you if you look at the sort of trail uh, we've left the last six or nine months, uh, you know, we acquired a signals intelligence business uh, called Capella earlier in the year. We announced a uh, MOU with the DOE again talking about what we can do with quantum computing and quantum networking in space uh, and we've also signed partnerships with ground-based um, radar stations um, and a necessary infrastructure if you will to build a quantum network that can be not only ground to ground but ground to space space to space and back down to the ground uh, obviously yes we're a board appointment today general jay raymond you know big honor and pleasure to be working with him um, will obviously accentuate our ability, we believe, uh, to partner with uh, our wonderful sovereign federal government. Um, we believe this is an important capability for the United States to have. It's a race against the PRC in China. Um, and quantum networking is essential for securing communications, not just in the future as quantum computers start to crack RSA 2048, but we believe it's necessary now because cybersecurity is already a big problem. Uh, and quantum networking is the only, not just practical solution to that, but the theoretically perfect solution with perfect security for both the classical world and a quantum world. Well, can I ask you then, will this new space, I don't know, can I call it a division, be under what you've recently begun, which is IonQ Federal, basically that aims to integrate your proprietary technologies into, I guess, all things government, all things defense? Yes, we're a very pro-national security firm. Um, we want to partner with U.S. three-letter agencies. We want to partner with every aspect of the U.S. government, of course. We take that uh, obligation, responsibility, and need very seriously. Um, you know, INQ is focused on our nation's national security, which we believe is then about our nation's national economic security. And we believe quantum computing, quantum networking, and quantum sensing, uh, which is the third product family we have, are all, all equally vital to that. Um, the quantum internet, as we see it, will need to be on the ground and in space. It will be the future of the internet as, as we've known it the last few decades. We will be able to capture information using our quantum sensors. We'll be able to transmit that information securely using our quantum networks in an unhackable way. And we'll be able to use our quantum computers to perform calculations on that data all in an entangled state. So it's a big vision, um, but it's underpinned by the fact that, as I've uh, demonstrated this year, you know, we are the 800-pound gorilla of the business of quantum. Uh, we are the biggest player by revenue in the space. We spend the most on R&D. Um, and ultimately, we believe we have the leading roadmap and leading commercial roadmap, not just in computing, but also in networking and sensing, and then uniquely can stitch these things together. So it's a, it's a sovereign capability for the US. We hope someday it might even expand to the so-called Five Eyes and NATO. Um, but we believe it's a vital, vital national interest um, for the future of the, of the Western world and the future, frankly, of civilization as we know it runs right through INQ and the quantum internet. Sure. I mean, we have watched and seen how governments are now looking skyward and really trying to own the space area. And it's funny, I was going to ask you, what could these applications be? But you've just articulated some of them. Can I just talk to you about the fact that there are people very concerned about the run-up in some of these stocks? We just had Andrew Left, the famed short seller, saying he doesn't like one of your rivals, Rigetti. Uh, he feels there was too much insider selling. Uh, you have sold some of your own stock. Uh, and so people take their cues. They, they read into that kind of thing. What would you say to people who say, dude, why are you selling your own stock? Well, I, I was the original SPAC sponsor. I sold uh, shares associated with a company I founded five or six years ago uh, that were part of that. But I haven't sold any of my CEO stock, and I don't intend to ever do that, um, at least while I'm in the role and probably beyond that. Um, so ultimately, you know, I'm here for the long term, um, and we've demonstrated that we are the largest player in the category, which is why there is, frankly, so much enthusiasm for Ion Q. Um, the reality is every tech market 
from the Google search bar through to, of course, where NVIDIA is at today with GPUs and where Intel once was, you know, a decade or two ago with CPUs, has strong network effects. You got and so the first company that commercializes and has the most powerful technical roadmap, you know, very much tends to consolidate a customer ecosystem. And INQ, we believe, is very much doing that. That is our intention. That is our strategy. We want customers to buy all of our services from us, computing, networking, sensing. Um, we believe that that will add the most value to their businesses and to their governments on a short, medium, and long-term basis. Mm -hmm. uh, and because we're the biggest, we're able to invest the most. I mean, we, we probably have a run rate R&D spend, uh, you know, that is you know, 10 times roughly um, what some of the other players in the sector have. Okay. Uh, and same with, uh, you know, our market capitalization revenue this year um, and, and balance sheet. Uh, and so the success tends to accrue to the biggest biggest players in the space and the tech ecosystems, the big tend to grow faster. Um, and faster means we can invest more and reinforce that virtuous circle. So that's very much how we're approaching this, this market right now, which is to have the largest market share, have all the best people. We have 1,100 patents, Liz, uh, in all of our business families, if you will. Um, and that gives us a tremendous moat and a tremendous opportunity globally to keep reinforcing our ecosystem and deepening and broadening it for the good of our country and the good of our allies. Uh, Nicola, we are committed to following the story and following what you find out in space. Uh, you, you talked about everything that, that quantum computing can do out in space. Just find if there's life out there and be sure to break that news here on the Claim and <laughs> <Countdown>. <laughs> Thank you very much.